What made you want to start tattooing? Well, I never actually set out to tattoo. I never really did it like, you know, that was my goal. It, I kind of just happened into it, honestly. Many, many years ago, um, there was a guy that I used to get tattooed by. He worked for another local shop here, and he had quit tattooing there, and I airbrushed, and I taught him how to airbrush. We kind of started doing this thing, basically painting a bunch of motorcycles, and that was kind of our gig for a while. And then they legalized tattooing in Indiana, and he decided to open up a shop and asked me if I wanted to learn. And this was a time frame where airbrushing was really starting to kind of die out. And it got real hard to make money airbrushing, so I was pretty like, sure, I'll get into it. And once I got into it, fell in love and been obsessed with it ever since. <laughs> yeah, this is back in the time frame too. This was kind of before the big boom of popularity of tattooing. Like when I started getting it, it was mostly Mostly the shadier side of life, not all, but mostly. Shadier guys or military. My main style is realism. Primarily black and gray, but a little bit of color. But I, I'm definitely more of a realism artist than anything. But I love tattooing hands. There's something different on the skin, on the hands, that I just love to tattoo. But I don't suggest anybody ever do it, because it's kind of a job killer. Being dumped, going to Florida, and being homeless in Florida was how I ended up in tattooing. I had a friend in Tallahassee, and I went over to hang out with them, and he was a tattoo artist, and I only stayed for a few days, and it turned into about a year, and I did my apprenticeship down there. I'm a new school guy. I like big, silly things. I like my cartoon stuff. I like tattooing feet. It's a nice, small area. It's good skin, and you can be done with the entire thing in about three or four hours. You can't work it like normal skin or people can't walk the next day. So it's this real fine balancing act between tattooing and sh just sh shaping it into the skin. Almost 27, I think, when I got my first one. Then I kind of went a little nuts with it. And a little terrible little piece of travel on my arm. It was so awful and it's fortunately mostly gone now and covered up. I've been tattooing for about eight years now. I started right after high school, actually. I had an older brother and older sister who would let me draw on them all the time. And then that kind of evolved into me designing tattoos for their friends when they were in high school. And uh, when I started seeing my own drawings tattooed on my brother's friends, I was like, well, that's kind of cool. Like, maybe I should get into that. I don't know if I really have a favorite part. I think, uh, you know, placement really controls the overall design, so my goal is to always just make it flow with whatever part of the body we're working on. I like all different styles, but I do like high detail work, whether it's grayscale or color. So as long as I get to get into all those little nitty-gritty details and textures and stuff, I have fun with it. One thing that I was shocked by when I moved here, just within my first month, I had two separate guys ask me to tattoo their downstairs, and I immediately said no. Anytime a creepy old guy comes up and says, I've got a question for you, I know something weird's gonna follow it. I'm the art director. I mainly take care of the art that you would see around here. Each artist is individual, all by themselves, and, and that's a good thing. Travis is like, he, 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 
he's loud. He's, 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 when, he, when he speaks, it, it, his voice roars um, when he speaks. But when he's tattooing, he's serious. He, he doesn't talk much. He is focused. Chris is pretty much his happy-go-lucky self throughout the, throughout the tattoo. He does not break character. He talks the whole time. So, so I'd say Sharon, she, when she starts to tattoo, there's no communication. I can even ask her a question. She does not hear me. I don't take it personal. She is focused. It shows in the incredible words that she does. I understand what they're doing. They're creating. You need, you need uniqueness. So each artist is individual all by themselves. And, and that's a good thing. But you can't be so extreme that they don't mesh with the others. That just causes tension. But you need a uniqueness that they can all appreciate and mesh along with. You can be like far out left. But as long as you're kind of friendly and you get along with everyone, meaning your fellow artists and your clients, you're good. I think that would be in any shop, especially ours.